We begin at 6.30 with the national abortion debate. A federal judge has blocked Idaho from enforcing part of a strict abortion ban. It means the state cannot prosecute anyone for performing an abortion in an emergency medical situation. Thank you for joining us. I'm Laurel Porter. And I'm David Mulko. And that court injunction is fairly limited in scope. The rest of Idaho's trigger laws and near total ban will go into effect tomorrow. And that is something abortion rights advocates in both Oregon and Washington have been preparing for. As Christelle Kumwe reports, they're now expecting an influx. Reproductive rights leaders gathered in downtown Portland Wednesday in support of abortion access. Abortion is health care. And to decry Idaho's abortion law. The ban is devastating and cruel. Idaho's near total ban on abortion is set to take effect on Thursday. And even though abortion is legal and in statute here in Oregon, we cannot sit back. We must help our neighbors in other states. And Democratic candidate for Oregon Governor Tina Kotek joined the advocates at the press conference. She says the ban in Idaho will impact people who live in eastern Oregon close to the Idaho border. And the impacts are immense. Planned Parenthood Advocates of Oregon anticipates a 234 percent increase in out-of-state patients coming to Oregon if the ban goes into effect. We also know that people coming in mean that people here in Oregon might be facing longer wait times or that other essential and critical reproductive health care like family planning, well women's visits, pap smears might also face a little bit of pressing time because of the surge in patients. Executive Director Ann Doe says they welcome and plan to help anyone in need of care, but Oregon's health care infrastructure is not ready to meet that demand. So where do the other candidates for Oregon governor stand on abortion? Well, Republican Christine Drazen told OPB she would not comment on legislation that hasn't been drafted but supports, quote, common sense regulations on abortion, including protecting life in the third trimester. And we want to correct something we said on the 5 o'clock newscast about Betsy Johnson. She told us on Straight Talk that she's staunchly pro-choice and has served on the board of Planned Parenthood.